Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. Now continuing with our topic on test automation obstacles, moving on to our next topic is confusing dates. So this is the obstacle which uh, consists of different date formats and different calculations which we need to do. So let's see at this particular problem, right? So we need to generate a new date in the US format by pressing the calendar button. So this is the button. When you press on it, a specific date is generated in a specific format. Now we need to use the Tosca base functions to calculate first of the second following month of the generated date. Okay, so uh, we need to calculate two months uh, forward and it has to be the first of that particular following month, right? Uh, and then the new date has to be entered in this particular text box. Uh, and that has to be in the ISO format. There's an example here. So if the date is this, then uh, the result date should be this, okay? And once you do that, you need to click on this done button. Now, for example, if our generated date is this, then our resultant date should be, okay? So we have to enter the year first, and then we need to calculate two months in advance, okay? So that would be 10 and then 0, 01, okay? And you will see that uh, the obstacle is completed now. So this is what we need to automate using Tosca. So let's see how we can do this in Tosca. Okay, so coming back to our Tosca workspace uh, and going to our obstacles modules folder, we will scan the application. And here we need to add basically four controls. Okay, so we need to add the buttons and then the two text boxes. So one is the generated date and one is the solution date. Okay, so these are all the four controls which we require. And then I'm going to rename this module here. And then I'm going to save and close this, okay? And now coming back to our obstacle test cases folder, we are going to add new test case here. And then uh, we are going to add the particular module to this particular test case, okay? Uh, now, before we move ahead and uh, modify our test steps, we need to add some additional configuration parameters to our module attributes. And this is because of the specific date format, right? So these two are the module attributes or basically the date controls. So for this, we need to change the properties, okay? So in the property section, we need to right click and there will be finding a configuration parameter option. So we'll click on that. And here uh, we need to provide the target date format. Okay, so this is the configuration parameter name, okay? Uh, it is a system defined parameters. So the name uh, should be exactly defined like this, okay? Okay, and then the value uh, would be uh, this particular format. So which is the month, then the date, and then the year, okay? And uh, we need to do the same for the solution date field as well. So we will add a configuration parameter and we will call it target date format. And we will enter the same value here. So this is the format. And then we will go back to our test case now and we will modify the test step values here. So first we need to click on the button to generate the date. So we will perform the click operation. Then once the date is generated, uh, we have to save it into a buffer, okay? So that we will do, um, I will provide a name here called generated date. Now, when this date is generated, we also need to change the data type because it cannot be string anymore, okay? It has to be a date data type, okay? So we need to change the data type to date here. And then uh, we need to perform some calculations here, okay? So we need to use a date expression, which is called month first. And what does it do? It returns the first day of the current month as a complete date, okay? So inside this, uh, we are going to provide the base date, which is nothing but our buffer. So we will use that. 
here. Okay. And after this, we need to perform some offset calculations because we need to calculate two months uh, after the generated date, right? So we will do plus two months here, right? And then uh, we need to do it in a specific format, right? So we will put the format here uh, and that will be year, then month, and then date. Okay. Okay, so uh, I've changed that to month first. Somehow it became month. Uh, but this is the expression which we'll use. And once that is done, once the calculation is done, we need to click on the done button. Okay. So again, a click operation. So these are all the operations which we need to perform in our test steps. And once that is done, uh, we can mark this as completed. And now let's go ahead and run this in Scratchbook. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it generated the date and then it performed all the calculations. Then it entered it into the text box and then it clicked on the done button, which completes all the requirements for this particular obstacle. Okay, so this is how uh, you can perform different uh, date calculations. Uh, it could be on a base date, it could be on a default date, or it could be some generated date, right? So there could be several scenarios in your application where you can apply this particular knowledge. Uh, you can use different date expressions which are available in Tosca to perform different types of date calculations. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.